What's going on YouTube? What's happening? It's Beretta19 back with y'all with another video. If you're new to the channel, please like, comment, subscribe, hit your notification bell, and drop as many comments as you can down below. Like and share video. Woo -wee. Hope everybody's having a good day. Hope everybody's having a blessed day. Hope everybody, you know, is enjoying itself and having a good time in life. Real quick, you guys, if you're going through a bad patch in life, please understand some God loves you, God cares about you. Cash your cares on him because he loves you. Keep your drive alive, you keep your dream alive. Don't give up hope, you guys. Keep your head up, stay motivated. You ain't gotta do anything uh, negative or anything to hurt yourself, nothing like that and everything. Give any pain, any anger, and anything from your past, you give it to Jesus and he'll heal you and he'll walk you through everything, okay? Stay motivated, y'all, so stay blessed. God got a blessing with your name on it. Don't give up hope. Do never give up hope and everything. And always maintain your faith. Okay? God loves you. God cares about you. If you just lost a loved one, please understand some day in a better place, you guys. Much better place than in the hands of Jesus and they in heaven. Also, you guys, somebody walked away from you, they gave up on you. And everything, please understand some God had removed people out of your life that don't need to be there in the first place. Okay? Please understand that. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, you guys, real quick and everything. If it's your first time tuning into my channel, please understand something. I talk about real shit on my channel, okay? I talk about stuff that's relevant in people's life. I talk about stuff and everything that is, you know, it happened in people's daily life, okay? I ain't here to bullshit you. I ain't here to lie to you. There's no bullshit in the world. You need everything. What you need to hear is the truth, the unedited truth, and the blunt truth, okay? Somebody said something negative to you about my channel, please tell them to go straight to hell. Because I ain't got time for bull, you know, negativity, ain't got time for bullshit. If you don't like it, take your ass on. But I got to speak the truth when I'm on here. Okay? Got no heaven and hell to put you in. That's that's between you and God. Hell, I'm trying to get to heaven myself. Okay? So uh, please understand something. I'm not judging you on here. I'm not calling your sins out. Nothing like that. Okay? All right, y'all. Topic of the conversation is, is called... The misconception or meaning of holidays. I repeat, the misconception of holidays or the meaning of holidays. You guys, as we go, let's, we're going to start in January, work our way down. As you well know and everything, we have very, very positive hol holidays, excuse me, and everything. But what pisses me off and everything, America have twisted and messed it up. Okay? They have made it their own unique holiday, which I think is a bunch of bullshit. So, with that being said, let's jump right in this. First things first, New Year. That's self-explanatory. We all you know celebrate the New Year. A lot of us celebrate the New Year by shooting uh, firearms, you know, bullets into the air. Some people celebrating the New Year by going to a party or going to drinking. Whatever you do to celebrate the New Year and everything, that's on you. And now they're making all these bullshit new new resolutions and everything, what they're going to do, how they're going to change, and don't ever do it. I always tell people, never speak about something that you have no intentions on accomplishing or you have no intentions on doing. Don't just talk about it because it sounds good. Be real. Next holiday, you guys, it would be Martin Luther King Day. And sadly, a lot of kids, particularly young black kids, don't understand that holiday is more than just a day off school. And everything what it is and everything is a man who fought and everything fought and died was shot and killed not by no terrorists but by american and everything because he stood up for equal rights he was a huge advocate for civil rights and everything it's very funny how people in this world black or white stand up for equal and i mean equal uh balance and equal uh rights for black and white people it's funny how they always something always happened to them uh, next thing, let me see if I can go. February, we we all know associate February with Valentine's Day. That simply means everything. Somebody special in your life, man or woman, and everything. And again, I don't say no damn two punks, and I'm not saying no damn two dice. I'm talking about man or woman, husband, wife, boyfriend, or girlfriend. <clears throat> That's where you celebrate. You know, pretty much just a special day you celebrate your, you know, your love and. You know, a lot of people obviously go out and get cards and candy and flowers, you know, or take their, you know, uh, 
a husband and wife out to a nice romantic dinner or you know or a nice romantic time at home or whatever the case may be that's pretty much what uh valentine's day is and everything and you show see me and everything when i get my wife i won't need a special day to uh show her i love her i would do it every day okay if she could have picked any man in the world but she picked me okay you guys <clears throat> let's go on to march March is known and everything for a lot of things. One thing March is known for March Madness for college, college sports. Uh, March is known and everything for just the beginning, just the month before to be uh, getting into playoffs for NBA. Of course, it's not holidays, but I'm just saying. And another thing, <coughs> March is known for St. Patrick's Day. Okay, now. I'm not a big fan of St. Patrick's Day. I don't get involved in it like that. I mean, there's nothing wrong with it. Don't get me wrong. I'm just saying I'm not, you know, getting involved in it. People come out eating green eggs and ham, wearing some green and all that and everything. I, I, I'm sorry. That just, that just let me help. I want some green. Go get me some collard greens or something, or green beans. That, that means that's just me. They say I have nothing against it. Nothing against it at all. So don't be tripping. All right. Now we get to problematic here. Get to April, and we know April and everything is to be Easter. Okay, we talking about major holidays. April is to be Easter. Let me explain to people because I know somebody's gonna get upset, and I know somebody's gonna get mad. But as I always say, I got to keep the truth going. You don't like it? Take your ass somewhere else. First and foremost, April. First of all, my dad's birthday in April, my grandfather's birthday in April, and so is my uh, uncle. But as far as holiday go, holiday, they say it's Easter Sunday. Or it's Easter, okay? America, talking about a damn bunny. You know, you know I'm talking about not Bugs Bunny, but a damn bunny. Little white bunny hopping around, you running around for Easter egg hunting and everything. Let me explain your ass something here. And I'm not being, this ain't no damn religion. Easter Sunday is Easter Resurrection Sunday, the day uh, the day that they uh, clarified that uh, they declared, excuse me, that Jesus rose and everything. That's why we call it Resurrection Sunday, and it ain't no damn religion. I want to hear no shit about talking about and everything. It's uh, excuse me, it's you know that's y'all religion holiday and everything. America need they ass whoop. How in the hell you celebrate? You gonna take from Jesus? By him rise, him uh, rising again, or you know, rose on the third day, you gonna take and make a damn bunny out of it? That's bullshit. And then people need their ass about it and everything. Another one almost forgotten everything. Kind of jump back here and everything. Come on, some damn groundhog day. What the hell is that about? You damn, should I mean about America? How in the hell you talking about if the groundhog see his shadow and everything? We gonna have uh, another three or four months or something. But if he don't see it. We might not have it all back for uh, vice versa or whatever the case may be. That's bullshit. Like some punk ass groundhog gonna determine how the weather gonna turn out. You see what I mean? This dumb shit. How the hell you celebrate some bullshit with some damn ground groundhog? You mess around and get around with some of them country boys and they've been through his ass on the grill with some gravy. I'm just telling you. I don't know what be wrong with America. First you say a groundhog gonna determine how the weather gonna look. Then you talking about a damn punk ass bunny. Talking about some damn Easter egg hunting. That ain't what that's for, it's resurrection people. Now, we get to May. And May is my birthday month. May 19th, 1990, 32 years old. I have several family members who have, and friends, who birthday is in May, okay? Several of them. Now, May, I'm trying to think what holidays in May. I think it's not Labor is it? What holidays in May? I'm trying to think what holidays in May. It ain't Labor Day. President Day? I don't know. I ain't going to even go there. <laughs> Forget May. So I can't think of any holiday off the top of my head right now. If you know one, drop a comment down. Let's go to June. Okay? June again. I got some family members that are birthdays in June. I got a uh, you know father's. Oh wait a minute. I just remembered. I'm sorry. Let me back up here. Ma, May is for Mother's Day. Mother's Day. 
you guys understand something, everything. If you have a mother out here, treat her right and do it right, okay? You, you don't get, you only get one mother. Now, if your mother was not there and you were raised by your grandmother, then treat your grandmother right. Whoever's raised you, that's who your mother is. Not the person who gave birth to you, but the one who raised you, okay? But, uh, yes, that's Mother's Day, and God knows I always do something special for a mother on Mother's Day. I've never missed a Mother's Day at all, okay? Take care of your mother. You only get one, and you don't know how long you got her. You get to uh, June. June is Father's Day. The day America deems particularly African-American men and everything and say that we all are bad men. We all are bad fathers. We don't take care of our kids, which is a bunch of bullshit. All of us ain't like that. All of us ain't like that. We got a lot of black brothers going there. The reason why I always make reference towards black because we always the one who getting the, the, the shitty hand or the shitty view of stuff and everything. One black person will do something stupid. You say all of us are that way. All of us aren't, aren't that way. You have people out here, men, excuse me, men out here and everything are excellent fathers to their kids. And I will be an excellent father when I have kids, whether you believe that shit or not. Okay? Then we go to July. July is Independence Day. Or better known as people have lighting up a bunch of damn fireworks. Please understand something, you guys, and hear me very well. Okay? Hear me very, very, very well. Okay? In July, I know a lot of if people if I forget how much money people have probably spent millions of dollars across the country, across the world probably, on July 4th. Because they want to get all these damn fireworks and celebrate and everything don't realize it was the Declaration of Independence. Okay? Do your history. And the thing about it is, and everything, we lighting all these fireworks, we lighting all this stuff up and everything, and sadly some people do get killed or get hurt and everything with fireworks. I'm gonna tell you right now, in my way I see it, if your ass ain't 18 over and irresponsible, you ain't got no business with no fireworks. That just me. Because on too many kids have gotten hurt, some kids even have gotten killed because of fireworks and everything so please be careful with that next we are in the current month and everything which is august okay now august and everything it's a little bit different i always call it the op the operative month uh op you know the strange month of the year august and everything kind of sinuates between you know it's, it's the middle between summer and fall okay that's pretty much what it is I have, like I said, I have family. It's birthdays in August. Can't think of really you know, a holiday that jumps out me yeah, in August. Can we think of one? If you know one, please tell me. Everything is, I ain't really, you know, check far as August in particular. If I may say, if it is one, drop a comment down there and let me know. I can't think of one on the top of my head. Then we go to September. September is Labor Day. Okay? In September is Labor Day. Please understand something, you guys. Labor Day, that means people who actually get up off their ass and go to work, okay? Not be a couch potato. Not sitting around waiting on uh, uh, the government to bring them something, but get up off their ass and go to work. That's why we celebrate Labor Day. Another thing about Labor Day, uh, uh, about uh, Labor Day around that, I think it's either the 3rd or the 4th, depending on which one it falls on. My mother's birthday is September 4th. So you know that holds value. You know that does. Never missed a birthday either. Okay, see another one here, September, October, okay, if I, like I said, if I miss any, let me know, October and everything, we're talking about the ones that's really highlighted as far as holiday, October, we all know October to be Halloween, and it's pretty much as a night and everything where everybody dress up in these ridiculous outfits and they, they go around scaring people, please understand something, you guys, listen to me very carefully, a lot of people call that the devil's holiday because a lot of weird shit happened a lot of bad shit happened and everything on halloween now i've never celebrated halloween my mother used to when we were kids me and my brother she would cut you know the uh, pumpkins and make uh, jack-o'-lanterns and stuff all that and everything which would be cool which would be nice and everything but she stopped doing that because like i said we don't celebrate halloween if she looks at that's the devil's holiday and it ain't no damn religion and so and then from there she would throw candy at us. Not trick-or-treating, but she would throw candy at us. I remember one time I wanted to go trick-or-treating. I was kid. My mother said, it ain't going to happen. Said, you want some candy? Go. Uh, I'll buy you some from the store. But you're not going to take your ass out there and be trick-or-treating. And then there's something else and everything. You've gotten kids that have gotten kidnapped 
on Halloween, trick or treating. You got kids that got kidnapped. They go to somebody's house to go get some candy and everything. They didn't snatch the child, not a child, nowhere to be found. Parents or big brothers or big sister. I'm talking about the oldest ones and everything. If y'all if y'all gonna go trick or treating, if you're gonna do that and everything, you make sure you have an adult present. Don't be having no little bitty kid out there by yourself. Your little brother, your little sister. Clean that shit up. Let's make sure and everything, okay? Then from there, we go to, okay, October, November. Okay, now we in November and everything. November is pretty much known as Thanksgiving. A lot of people and everything think Thanksgiving is strictly about turkey and dressing. By the way, that's my favorite food. Turkey and dressing with green beans and mashed potatoes with some banana nut bread and some gravy on those mashed potatoes. By far my favorite food. I can eat that all week. Okay? But Thanksgiving and everything is simply mean you giving God thanks for keeping your ass for another year. Thanksgiving is when you start supposed to give God thanks. Not cutting the turkey, but giving God thanks. You can buy a turkey any time of the, you know, most times of the year, depending on where you live. Okay? But you when you when you do that, excuse me, when you do that and everything, make sure you give God thanks first. Okay? Give him his pray, thanks and praise first. Thank him for all the stuff that he's done. Thank him for stuff that he will do. Thank him for keeping your kids safe, keeping your husband, your wife safe. Keeping your brothers, your sisters safe. We got to start getting back to thanking God. Give the man his praises and everything instead of worrying about cutting a damn turkey. I understand your ass is hungry. I know then you get all these relatives coming in from out of town and everything. Little Susie, she got her all, uh, all uh, but uh, peach cobbler and everything. And I'm gonna tell you right now, some of them damn people can't even cook. And that's some of when you cooking dinner and everything, especially if you want, you know, all men. If you if your wife is in there cooking Thanksgiving dinner, go in there and help her. Go in there and help her. Remember, this is a partnership. You guys are teammates. Do not do not segregate your wife or your woman to only doing the cooking, the cleaning, the uh, laundry, and everything. That is not right. Y'all work together. Okay, I don't care if you do bring the biggest check home or the only check home. Work together, people. She's doing her part, you doing your part. Y'all team, too many men get that misconception and everything. Where they think, okay, you the woman, go clean, uh, go clean the dishes, go wash the stuff, go uh go go iron my clothes and everything. That's not how it works. She's your wife, she's not a slave. Now she wants to do those things and everything, that's fine. But what I'm saying is don't just sit here and just segregate her off that way. Or or form of that's how she's supposed to be. Women are more than that, okay? They're more than that. And I say again, even if you bring this, the, you know, the, the, uh, the most money home or the only check home, still help your wife. Remember, she picked you. She could have picked anybody else. And just like you could have picked anybody else. But I'm just telling you and everything, appreciate your wife. Appreciate your wife. Don't just tell her the only thing. You don't treat her, I should say. Like, the only thing she's good for is, you know, cleaning, cooking, Satisfying you in the bedroom, taking care of the kids if y'all got them and everything while you out working everything. It's a you you, you I understand that's I understand that's back in the day and everything, but as you see today has changed. The cost of living has changed. And besides and everything, make you remember I told you, make your wife feel that she's important to you and she's your queen. Don't make her feel like she's a maid. And stop taking your wife. You know, for, you know, for granted. Same thing with the kids. Don't let your kids take their mothers for granted. Iron my shirt. Clean this up. Mom, can you do this? For me? Mom, can you sew my button? Mom, can you check my homework? Uh, and then the husband come in. Mom, uh, I mean, wife, can you iron my shirt? Can you press my pants and everything? She's a human being, too. She's a human being, too. Okay, she's, she's not a slave. Okay, we, this ain't slavery. I'm just going to throw that out there and everything work together. If you want the dream, the work, work together. We just want to let you know. Alright, you guys. Finally, we get to December. And oh, I know some people, even some kids may hate me on this, but damn it, I got to keep it real. First things first. Everybody think when Christmas come around, I'm talking about America's way of thinking. I ain't talking about Christians. When Christians come around, I mean, America come around, 
They think when December 25th hit, that's Christmas. Okay, okay. People do plays, go out, buy gifts. It's the season of giving. Before I really dive into it like I want to, explain this to me. Why is it only Thanksgiving and Christmas is the only time people seem to have a heart? Why, why can't we just show love and Thanksgiving to each other all year, period? Why it gotta be a holiday to trigger your quote unquote good character? You know what I mean? Why, why you got to only buy meals and everything for somebody that's on Thanksgiving, but you can't buy meals for them the entire year? I'm just saying. Now, why, why are we talking about we in the season of giving and everything when we should be giving, you know, uh, encouragement and blessings to each other all year? But that, that's beside the point, though. Okay. America say this, the calendar hit December 25th. Guess what? After all the little kids across the world and everybody in America, Santa's coming. Let me tell your ass right now. And I'm going to speak this, of course, from a black man's perspective. Strong black man and a proud black man. You got some black men who are ashamed to be black. We call them Aqua Times and House Niggas, but here we go. Here's the thing. I'm going to be real here, okay? I'm going to be real here and be comical here. Ain't no way in hell, no oversized and overweight, big ass damn uh, clansmen gonna bring no gifts to all uh, the, the world and everything, particularly in a black community. Ain't no damn white man ever bring joy to no all black community in no one damn night. Let's quit out this bullshit. You run around talking about he run around with reindeers and everything. How the hell a reindeer gonna leave the ground? Nigga, this ain't Rudolph. I mean, I, I don't understand. <laughs> I don't understand what America get these damn concepts from. If you also notice something, and everything when they do these holidays, it's always showing or an pigment of a white or something that's white that shows good. You got white Santa Claus. You got quote unquote white Jesus. You got uh, a damn white bunny rabbit for Easter. That shit is wrong. Christmas is and everything to represent everything the birth of our Savior. Now, was he technically born on that day? Hell, I don't know. Hell, I wouldn't hear. I mean, yeah, you can dig into it, dig in deep and everything. I'll let your ass do that. All I know is my Savior was born. That's all I need to know. But I'm just telling you and everything. Quit running around here lying to people. Your big belly ass walking there with a damn uh, red and white suit on and everything. Your ass is like a damn peppermint with legs. You don't do that and everything. What am I talking about? You bringing all the joy to all the kids across the world. Hell, what about the damn black community? You ain't brought no damn joy to nobody. How the hell you going to drive a sleigh all the way around the damn country? Come on, you going down the chimney and everything. You ass ain't going down the damn chimney. I'm going to tell you, you go down the wrong damn chimney, you're going to get some lead in your ass. I'm just telling you what's real. People need to, America need to quit lying all the damn time. Quit lying and telling these people these things. A lot of people, then you got another thing, people talking about uh, the tooth fairy and everything. Ain't no such thing. No damn tooth fairy. I mean, what the hell? I, I, I ain't gonna lie to you and everything. When I was a kid, I used to thought it was a damn tooth fairy, but I quickly realized that there's no such thing. A little fairy come around there, grab your tooth and put some little money and everything. Man, lead a fairy tale for somebody else. Ain't no damn tooth fairy. Uh, somebody may say, well, is there a, is a real Santa Claus? I'm going to put it to you like this. You can dress up like Santa. That's fine. But please understand something everything. Who give you? Particularly kids. Who's giving you those gifts? Ain't no damn Santa Claus. It's your hardworking parents. Parents is the real Santa Claus. And the parents are the one that put that money up under your pillow to my being a tooth fairy. They need, America need to cut this shit out. Quit lying to people. Oh, you're evil for saying this. You know, they know I'm not evil for saying that. I'm telling you the truth. Don't no oversized or overweight ass white man gonna bring joy to no whole country in one night. Especially not no damn black community. So let's get shit right and everything. Quit running around lying to people all the damn time. Come on, Rudolph. Come guide my slave. How the damn uh, little Rudolph gonna guide your damn slave? He got four, eight, nine more damn reindeers on there. Y'all take Jesus out of every damn holiday there is. And you replace it with, you replace it with this bullshit. 
Easter, uh, Easter Sunday is supposed to resurrection, resurrection of our Savior. You talking about hopping around a damn bunny? Christmas is supposed to be about our Savior being born. And everything you talk about an overweight ass Klansman? What the hell? That shit ain't right, man. Give Jesus his props. Give the man his glory. No damn well, no damn clans. We gonna bring no George, no all black neighborhood. Notice I didn't say white neighborhood. So I'm just telling you and everything. Quit bullshitting people. Quit bullshitting people. It's right at 19, you guys. Please understand something with a holiday mean. This ain't no damn religion talking. It's the truth. It's your parents that's buying them gifts. It's your parents that may put money up under your pillow. They want to do these things because you're a kid and you don't know no better. But as your ass get older, you realize, wait a minute. That ain't no damn Santa Claus buying me that radio or that video game. I want. That was my mom and dad. Or big mama or auntie or uncle or cousin or brother. Big old sloppy nigga. Well, I'm talking some ho, ho, ho. Nigga, ho, ho, ho your ass on a treadmill. That bullshit out of here. Ferretta 19, I'll catch y'all in the next video. Be blessed and take care. Wasn't trying to be mean here for any kids, I'm sorry, but I got to tell you what's true because you're going to find out the truth. The people don't want to hear the truth. They want to hear things that make them excited. They want to hear things that make them laugh, but they don't want to hear the truth. But that's the truth. Ferretta 19, it ain't no damn religion. Take care.